This video is important because I think that people are so unbelievably delusional about what it means to be an entrepreneur that I want to kind of clear the score for you. I want to tell you exactly what you can expect if you become an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm so tired of getting emails that say, I have an idea, I'm an entrepreneur, what should I do? That I, Listen, here's the thing. Let me, let me dispel some myths for you. Number one, it takes a long, long time of a lot, a lot of hours working every single day for 10, 12, 14 hours every single day. If you think this is my one shot, hey, I got asked to be on this magazine, I don't understand why my revenue didn't explode. It's because it's never one shot, it's never one thing. I've been on TED Talks twice, I wrote for Forbes magazine, I do all these things. Every single day I do all these things and every single day people say to me, oh, this is gonna be the one. Let me tell you something, it's never the one. It's every single day, all day long, putting in the work. It's jumping on airplanes, it's jumping in the cars, it's going out to Queens on two hour train ride for a 10 minute meeting after you put in two weeks in the proposal and 100 hours into the proposal and they say, oh, you know what, I changed my mind, sorry. It's knowing that's gonna happen to you 99 times a week, 99 times a day, 99 times a year. It's not, I've been doing this every single day for 72 months. Not 72 hours, not 72 days, not 72 weeks, 72 months. And a lot of people have been doing it for a lot longer than that, 720 months, 500 months. But I'm so sick of people writing me and saying, yo, I'm an entrepreneur and I go to their Instagram page and I talk to them on the phone and they, they think that because they've posted one thing that says they're an entrepreneur on Instagram, in their story, in their bio, and all of a sudden they're an entrepreneur. They think because they organize one event, all of a sudden they have a company, when in fact, they're up to their eyeballs in debt, and by the way, then they go out and raise money, and they raise money, and they raise money. You know how much money I raised? Zero dollars. Zero. This many. This many dollars. This many. Where's the, where's the zero? Not even ten. Not even no, nothing. No, no dollars. That's how much money I raised. Nothing. And you know why? Because I did the work. Every single day, I did the work. I'm so sick of people thinking that it's easy, that it happens overnight, that it happens in a week. But Brian, I've been working at this for six months. Okay, good. Come talk to me after 70 more months. Please stop romanticizing entrepreneurship. You know what I'm talking about. Please stop romanticizing what you think entrepreneurship is. It's not sitting on a beach and having passive income come in. It doesn't exist. Sit on the beach after 15 hours of work a day. That's what I do. S sit on the beach for, take Saturday off. I'm just, I just want you to understand how much work actually goes into this. I want you to understand that you will hire people and you will pay for expensive offices or you'll pay for expensive equipment or you'll invest your time and your energy and your family's time and your family's energy and you will sacrifice relationships and you'll sacrifice happy hours and dinners with your friends and you'll sacrifice all kinds of things. At the end of the day you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it actually what you want to do because you in your heart and soul want to do it and you are willing to play a long, long, patient, patient, sacrifice, sacrifice game to get it. Because if you go in thinking you're gonna get rich quick, you're gonna have passive income and chill on a beach in Barbados while your online products make money, you're full of delusion. Delusion. I don't care if you have a product or a service or an idea or a company or whatever, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of good people around you, in front of you, in your phone, blowing you up, keeping you motivated, keeping you on task, keeping you on trend. At the end of the day, if you're doing it because you think it sounds cool, you are going to lose the game, you are going to lose your mentality, you're going to lose your mind. So please, please, please realize you are going to be jumping on trains and jumping on planes and jumping in cars and having meeting after meeting after meeting and pouring tens and thousands of your dollars and hundreds of thousands of your hours into your thing. So I ask you, do you really want to be an entrepreneur? Show me. Stop emailing me. Stop tweeting me. Stop Instagram DMing me. Just show me.